Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to our Be a Pro Goalie series with Frank. And we're here. We're through the preseason. We skipped through it because it's not important. Uh, we are actually ready to start the season. We're starting the first game against the Ottawa Senators. Um, now, uh, someone asked if we picked up any players in the off season in the last video so we're going to check that out just to be sure um we'll take a look through the lines here it's just so you guys can see um and we'll go to special teams and we'll go to oh we need to go see our defense as well and we'll go check out our goalies just to be sure it's still us and ben bishop and that's what it is um, i'm feeling a little bit under the weather if you can't already tell by the sound of my voice so I'm going to do my best not to hack up along on microphone, uh, but it's going to be tough uh, because, uh, well, I need to record, but this thing's been bugging me all week. Uh, I've been doing my best to get rid of it. I just can't, can't shake it. Anyway, here we go. Starting the game against Ottawa. Big Frankie in his second season. What's kind of frustrating is that I feel like if we played every game, I'm not, I've never done it before. I've never played every single game that we started and be a pro, but I feel like if we did, we would be a lot higher overall. Like, I feel like we'd be an 80 or something. And I'd love to see us not get punished for simulating, which I think the simming penalty is off, but something's still weird there. Like, you guys are right. Um, I've never tried simming games. Like, in the so, like, I usually just do the calendar sim. Um, but one thing that you could do is just every time you see it, you know, a game you're playing, like you got the little goalie mask icon, you hit simulate game and you go through and you simulate period by period or finish the game or whatever. Um, you could do that. Now, um, I'm not sure if that's going to make a difference. I just tried that in, in the, uh, in the preseason. I didn't get the, uh, I, I dismissed the friggin thing the menu that tells you your progress and stuff like that so that's not good um, but regardless you guys should try that and if it doesn't work then I mean there's just a problem there because if you got simming penalty off honestly you should you should be able to just sim and, and progress as you normally would now I have a question for you guys wow what a save there Would you guys be fully against... I know you guys listen to this for the commentary. That's the whole point of YouTube is having me talk. But um, there's certain times where I can't record. Um, I can't sit down. I just don't have time to, to record. And it's happened a lot. Like, I today I have time to record. I'm probably going to record, like, four videos. Like, not necessarily all be a pro, but just other things that I've written down. Um, I, I, I run out of time to record sometimes. Especially in the summer, um, work's about to start to pick up a little bit for me, but um, we'll still be trying to put out videos regularly as we can. As you guys know, you've been through the summer with me anyway. Time it dies down. This game dies down in the summer anyway. But um, would you be against me posting like, let's say I I do just grind out like a full season of, of be a pro and play all the games? What if I just posted like the highlights um, from like a maybe I play like. A month and it's like a, a highlight uh, reel of Frank oh my goodness got caught down my butterfly we're still able to take away the angle from FNUF there I know like you guys listen to the commentary I'm talking in circles here on purpose but um, if I just played like a full month um, and I recorded every game and I sat down and I edited every video into the highlights um, in the gist, and, and, but I didn't talk in them, um, which I know would disappoint a lot of people, but I kind of did a thing where I write a story, like kind of, I give you guys, oh man, what a rocket, I was not ready for that, I like, you know, I, there's like subtitles basically, and like little, um, you'd have to read the, like, the little titles on the screen. It wouldn't be ideal, obviously. You'd want to hear my voice, I know that, and I would do that first. But sometimes, if there's a fan where I can't record, would you guys like the highlights um, of just a month of playing, and I'd give you guys the context in those videos. Um, oh, 
we got it. Let me know in the comments. I obviously, like I said, try my best to keep recording um, and posting those. But uh, at the same time, like we always, well, we get like 20 episodes of Be a Pro, I think we did last year, maybe more, like 25, I forget. Um, this year, it's probably looking like the same thing. Now we, we, that's only like, we get through like maybe a year and a half, two years. Maybe if we went ahead and did it this way, not only do we pr progress more, but we get into like season five and six and stuff. And we kind of get into the juicy details. Um, so I mean, be pro, but um, it's just, I don't know. It's not as, it's not as good. Sometimes my internet's just not good enough to stream and uh, I don't have time to set everything up. So. Let me know, though. All right, seven minutes here into the first. I'm really kind of upset about that one time where I feel like I should have been a little more active. It helps to be a little more active and constantly moving now. Um, especially offline, you can get away with it. That guy, yeah. Um, the guy looked like he was going to go short side on me. He's taking it away. Carlson. Hoffman coming up the ice. Deterris. I don't know. Very boring so far. Oh, um, I should probably double check the sliders um, to make sure nothing changed after the tuner. I don't think it would have, but you never know. We can check. Because uh, I feel like we only faced 20 shots in that preseason game, and right now it's not looking like we're facing that many shots either. Uh, maybe the CPU aggressiveness got turned down or something. I don't know. We can check in between periods. It's not a big deal. One thing you'll guys notice, if you play offline and online, you'll notice the tuner feels way better offline just because of the less delay. Um, oh! Yeah, he almost picked our corner there. Jeez. We were stuck down in butterfly. The puck went behind the net. Tried to just get ourselves in position. That's all right. Big save there. It's just, you can, like, it seems like you can just react better to everything. Which is true. It's always been the case. Oh, my God. I like that little flow we had there. Came back into our crease, got our pad on it. Big block there. Uh, we'll dish it out. I have been playing recently with um, the, the bumper butterfly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that what I called it? Bumper butterfly? Yeah, where I hold... Uh, L1 and L2, because I play on alternate controls. Uh, L2 is Butterfly, and L1 is the Precision modifier. And uh, for me, since I play with Precision as default, so that means my Precision movement is just the normal left stick movement, that, like, L1 takes that away. And then when you use it with Butterfly, you get those, like, crazy big slides. I've been using that. It's very helpful on rebounds, and I also find it very helpful... Um, if I do get, get over in time, like I can slide further for cross creases if I choose to do that method, which is, can be very difficult sometimes because most of the time you're just going to want to stay standing and be already reading that pass and then following the pass into the shot. But, um, Jack, first of all, we didn't even look at the stats there. It was six shots on net. That seems about normal. Let's just check our sliders and make sure everything is okay there. And attribute effect is at six. That makes me think it's uh, all right, but we'll double check. What was that? It's in checking, right? Aggression, 68. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Nothing changed. Start the second period. The other thing, too, is sometimes, like, I can just commentate these games. That's fine. That's what I like to do. But sometimes, like, 30 minutes, like, it, it's difficult to talk for a certain subject for 30 minutes. Now, if, there we go. Tied it up 1-1. Sometimes if I feel passionate enough about something, it's easy to fill that time. But now that we play six-minute periods, it's a lot longer, right? That's the other reason why it could be, I could do that little method for you guys. Um, I have a video coming out. I hope to be getting out. Um, on Can-Am. I'm just trying to get the footage from everyone, which is kind of turning into be something difficult. I'm trying to download the Twitch streams. Oh, big snipe there. Um, I'm trying to get everyone else's. There was like 
what was it where we won? Uh, I don't want to spoil it, but whatever. You guys followed along on the stream. Anyway, um, there was a lot of games played. Um, so, and I didn't play in all of them, and I need to get people's dreams so that uh, I can throw together a little, uh, you know, 24-7 style video for Team Canada. But um, it's going to take a little bit uh, just to get all the footage in, in the streams because I have no idea how to download streams. and The, the Twitch downloader is not working. It's frustrating. Anyway, comes Ottawa. There's... Off my post there, back on it. Oh no, please don't. Not today. Nice little blocking save there. Just got our shoulder right in front of there. Okay. They're going to dump it in. No problem. I'm not playing uh, LG Season 4. That kind of ties in with um, the reason why I have very minimal time to record, I'm just going to get very busy with work here. Um, some of you know what I do, and other you, don't, other you guys don't, but anyway, I work every day basically from 2 until, it's actually a lot of fun, but um, doesn't leave a lot of time for hockey, and um, I just can't, like everyone's like, oh, I'll just sign up, like, you know, do this, like only play, a like, no, like, if I sign up, I want to give it my all. I don't want to just half-ass it. So, um, I also don't want to ban for for missing my games. So, that's that. I'm not playing season four. I didn't play season two either. But uh, it's, it's disappointing because season four is going to be a really good season with all those Xbox guys coming over, making the competition a lot significantly better on PS4. Um, some would argue that the Xbox side is in in like like kind of. And I'll switch roles, but I probably not because I think a lot of quality players stayed over on Xbox still. Um, just judging by their bidding, everyone's price went up pretty significantly, um, which is funny to see because that's the way it was over here. Um, I'm sure, it's not as bad. Oh my God, what a weak one! I'm sure it's definitely not as bad as it was on PlayStation when we didn't have any of these Xbox guys coming over. I mean, that was like there was two good teams, and the rest were just dog crap and. And LG, everything was so spread out this year. There's like gonna be like probably like there might be 15 above average teams this year, which is like incredible compared to like last year. There was like maybe like four or five. Like LG, it's gonna be deep this year. It's gonna be exciting, I think. Um, and if they ever bring back Pro Series, that's gonna be even better. Um, I might partake in Pro Series just because the times are a little later there. Oh, what a shot! What was he doing there? I hope he wasn't... I, th I hope he just wildly missed the net there. He wasn't trying to target the uh, the guy beside my net for a tip. I would have been upset if that actually happened. But I've seen it before, so can't rule it out. Oh, I almost, I almost moved out of the way of that because I didn't think he was going to take a backhand from there. That's disgusting. I've been mixing. Ooh! <laughs> Stamkos, the snipe goes bar down. That's sick. What a shot. We were just piling it on against the Senators here. I've been using my T push a little more. Boom. Um, coming off the post, standing up sometimes because you have. Um, so, the funny thing, this is late into the video to talk about this. I might wait. Um, but I'll just let you know like, I've been standing up sometimes, hugging my post right when the puck's in the corner. And if the puck goes to the point, um, and, oh, a five off my post there, um, which is an appropriate time to use it. And we'll kind of go over those situations uh, maybe in another video. But, uh, what was going on? Never mind. Uh, I've also been using it sometimes if I need to get over... Um, from point to point. If I'm like at the top corner of my crease and I need to, uh, I might T-push over. But we'll talk about that in a different video. Anyway, as as crazy and unpredictable as they are, sometimes they can be useful. Um, you just need to know the proper time to use them. Anyway, here we go. Strawman point shot. Big glove save by Hammond. The more I play this tuner, 
the more I kind of notice, like, you still have a, like, you still have decent reach on your glove, um, but your blocker is, like, even worse now than before, right? Which makes sense. Like, your glove's worse and your blocker has less reach on it, too. I shouldn't say worse. Forget I said worse because I, I don't think it's worse. Um, you just have less reach, which makes sense. <laughs> you need to be moving in, to be rewarded for saves. Um... I definitely noticed that I still have a little bit more reach on my glove than I do my, my uh, blocker. And uh, what uh, what I'm beginning to... Jeez! Oh my goodness! That guy ate me for lunch! I was like waiting for him to like maybe cut in front, but he never did. He just kind of stayed on the side of the net there. I should have came off my post, but I was afraid. I was in the VH, and I was about to do this one. <laughs> oh, well. Whatever. The more I... Oh, yeah, anyway, sorry. The more I realize, like, Blocker needs some animations on it. Like, I don't know if there necessarily is a reaching Blocker save animation. I think a lot of it is just weird and flaily, and we know all the about the ones where your Blocker, you swing and miss, but... Um, it's really flaily, and I th I don't see, see ever see like one where you stretch your blocker out in reach to make the save. Oh my God! Another snipe. Stam coast coming out hot, five two here. Uh, we're gonna try and keep this at two goals. We don't want it to get any more because um, we want to keep this lead going into the third. So it's that much more important we focus up. When they actually get some zone time, because I guarantee they get some zone time here. We can get off my post. Yeah, I say that. Oh my god, what's going on there? I say that as he tries to backhand snipe me from the corner because I'm off my post. Respect. I respect that. Maybe in the next video, the next Be a Pro will do like a little, a little tips, um, which may not necessarily apply to Be a Pro, which was kind of contradictory, and I should maybe do this online, but can't hurt, you know. We'll just go over some basic positioning and stuff like that, and uh, we'll also do um, some T push examples, like I said before, anyway. I think that's a good idea. I'll record that right after this one. Um, so. Okay. What's going on here? We took one. Come on. All right. Sorry for that. I got to keep drinking water or else I'm going to lose my voice. Oh, my God. I had no idea where that puck was. Like, I saw the guy at the point had it. <laughs> I can't believe my goalie saved that. Jeez. Oh, it's still four on four. So they're going to kill it off. Or they're going to burn off this four on four, and then we're going to have a big uh, penalty kill coming up. Thirty seconds left still, though. Chair off. Oh, going to lose it. And he's going to skate it offside. Anyone who enjoys baseball, I hope you guys are excited for... Uh, the new MLB The Show coming out with Griffey on the front. Honestly, like, I always say those baseball games, like, for me to get enjoyment out of them, I'm going to buy them once every, like, couple years, maybe. But, um... Because I can always get fun out of Be a Pro. And, like, it always takes me that long to just, like, grind out Be a Pro. Or Be a Pro. Road to the Show, excuse me. It always takes me a while to grind out Road to the Show, but... I wasn't going to get this new one, 17 or whatever it is. 17, right? Anyway, whatever. Doesn't matter. It's got Griffey on the front. That's the only reason I'm getting it. And N64. Oh, my God. I don't care what anyone says. Um, I love Ken Griffey, but um, he was either... Oh, my God. Oh, that's so ugly. He was either on... 
steroids, and that's the reason he got hurt so much, or he wasn't on steroids at all, and uh, and and that's why he got hurt so much, and everyone else was just on roids, so they had a longer career than him. Um, you can't. I don't think you can rule it out. I think, honestly, from that era, you have to assume like over half the players are, are using steroids just because uh, that's what it, what it probably took to stay in the major leagues and um, not that I'm ever defending steroid use because I think it's cheating but um, at the time I think baseball was really dying um, ugh, 13 10 out of 13 that's gross I think baseball was really dying and uh they kind of got a little bit relaxed in the rules. I don't know if they encouraged it or not. I couldn't say that, but I think they kind of went a little bit lenient on the drug testing policies, and they made it exciting again. Like guys, you know, there was the home run race and and everything like that, and guys like Barry Bonds breaking the home run record is huge. Um, whether he's a cheater or not, it it took a tremendous amount of skill uh, to do that. He still got hit the ball. But uh, he's clearly on steroids, and, and it's kind of too bad that you have to, to be able to break a record like that. You have to be on something like that. But oh, right in the chest, right right how you're supposed to take it. Um, and then it was, the, was it McGuire and Sosa or McGuire and Bonds or whatever. Anyway, just guys like that. Like You just saw like all these all these guys dropping nukes and there's the home run race and it was such an exciting time for baseball and oh my god I thought he's going to deflect that you got guys like Roger Clemens juiced out of their mind <laughs> just hawking balls as hard as they can to the plate like like every single every five days and there was a ton of closers juiced up which is I mean awesome and not awesome at the same time. I mean, they're all throwing hard. They can come out and pitch three days in a row, no problem, where the next guy who's not on juice can barely move his arm, but um, there you go. That's the effects of steroids. Not only did they make you bigger, it's more importantly, they help your body up for life, but that's why people, baseball players, take them. It's not necessarily for the strength. Oh, man. It's for the... Uh, it's for the recovery, which in baseball, baseball season is a marathon. It's long, right? So that's why those guys took that. Um, very easy to get injured in a major league season. So point down low. Get off the post. Point, point, shooting that. There we go. I don't even think a shot got through there, but, uh... Ooh! Just, I only know... Did we face a shot last time? Like, I feel like we didn't. Oh, no. Thought it... Oh, man, that was close, too. I thought I was getting wrapped there. There's a problem where you go standing hug and you try and, um... Go post to post from the VH. It's weird. You get stuck. <clears throat> Stam What are you going to do? You going to snipe again? Nice try. Tried to go five hole. I respect it. Here's some uh, NHL 17 presentation for you, which I often skip repeatedly and very fast. That's the funny thing when I play NHL. I'm in it for the gameplay and the quickness and, uh, you know, the kind of the video game feel of it. But when I play MLB, I'm in it for, like, the realism, the presentation. Um, like, I'm in it for uh, the complete opposite reasons. Like, I like the realism and I like to see, like, the, the camera cuts. Like, I'll play. It would be like... The way I would compare it is, is com playing NHL on the true broadcast camera. Um, and that's the way I like to play MLB. Just because I'm not in it for the... Uh, I'm not in it necessarily as much for the gameplay as the way it looks. Um, and, and how closely I can emulate like a, it, 
being true to life. Um, now, I broke my PlayStation um, a while ago, and I haven't gotten it fixed yet, but um, I dropped it right on the concrete. Um, and uh, it's it's stuck in, like, um, I legit have to play every game in 480p because um, something happened when I dropped it, I'm assuming. And no matter, I bought three different HDMI cables, and I have to, like, it won't just, like, it doesn't show up on the screen if I do, like, 720 or 1080. So uh, 480 is the only way it shows up. Uh, anyway, I'll have to buy a new one here soon because I stopped playing Battlefield because it just looks like a bunch of pixelated mud. Um, the only two games I play are hockey because I don't really care about the way it looks. And uh, Call of Duty and Rocket League, strict, strictly for the gameplay. And uh, I'd like to play MLB, and I'd like it to look really good. Um, one thing in the MLB games, I, I'm sorry, this video is strictly turned into an MLB The Show talk, but I am kind of excited for the new one just because it's Griffey. Um, one thing I'd like to see them do is work on the way the pitch comes in, looks, and sounds. Uh, it just... So I understand, like, there's still the gameplay aspect to it, but I feel like there should be a mode, like, like, it just doesn't, the ball doesn't have, like, the zip on it that I think it does in real life. Like, even when I, not only the way it feels in real life when you're pitching, but when you're watching a broadcast, like, it comes out of the guy's hand, and it's like, you can't hear it on the broadcast, but the ball, if you throw hard enough, like, if you throw in the, in the low 90s and mid 90s, and obviously upper 90s, Especially the upper 90s, the ball's got the sizzle on it. And they got a little bit of that in the game, I know that. Um, but it just doesn't look right to me. And it doesn't, when it hits the catcher's glove, it doesn't sound like it. There's a noticeable smack when it hits the catcher's glove. And I'd love to have that better this year. Um, I don't know, it's just, that's definitely a very minor thing. But uh, it's something I always look for. Uh, when we when I play those games, like I just want to have a little zip and like, ooh, another oh my god, this is turning into a disaster. Six to three. It's like, um, it's just like I don't know, just need something a little extra. Like two seamers don't seem like two seamers, and oh my god, seven to three. It just doesn't seem like. You know, the movement, they don't quite have that locked down yet. Oh, here we are. Sorry, I was looking at the chat box. Oh, okay. So, I don't think there's a question that we're going to win this game unless we absolutely blow it here in the next three minutes. Or however many times. Well, one, one minute and 30 seconds left. There's 40 EP for you. Um... But the question is, can we hold them to just three goals? Oh. Nice. So far, so good. Those are some butt-clenching worthy saves. They didn't look probably all that spectacular, but I kind of had to guess where they were going with that. Oh! Seen that in ESHL before. All right, nice poke check there. Shoot it. Oh, that's a gross slot shot. 30 seconds left. You see the fans just stand up there? That's interesting. I've never noticed that before. Oh my god, yeah. Ah! <laughs> what? What angle did he score that from? I just don't see it. You know, I'm not calling... I'm not calling bullshit because, like, I don't know. That's just interesting. All right. Not our best game by any means. I did not think that guy had that angle, though. That's just a, that's an unlucky bounce to begin with. But we got the W. It's all that matters. It's an ugly one, though. Is it? Let's fight. Nah, we're winning. Whatever. Let's just get this over with. We're going to record another episode right after this. 
Don't freeze it with 2.4 seconds left. Ugh. I feel like we only faced like 15 or 16 shots too, which is frustrating to say the least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. C plus. I mean, not bad overall grades for getting lit up for four goals. Yeah, 20. That's not even an 800 save percentage. That's not very good. But we dominated them, so nothing you can do other than just try and stop the puck. All right, so that's it. Let's look, let's pick a time on the calendar actually to uh, simulate too. Once again, if you guys are still watching, make make sure that you. Uh, let me know what you think about that kind of montage idea with the little visuals instead of me talking sometimes, sometimes, not all the time. Um, but here, probably going to sim to November um, and play in one of these games right here. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.